Hey everybody, welcome to the turn 5 video for the Battle of Lhasa. Once again, if you haven't seen the previous videos or if you haven't seen the introduction, please go back and do that so you have an idea of what's going on. The introduction video gives you an idea of the rules and all that stuff. Okay, let's move forward and see what, what went on this turn. So after the last turn, Tian seemed to be in a little bit of a predicament, with 12 skulls of mobile units dropping in. He elected to move forward and take on the 3 skull fixed mobile unit in the communications array, and the team provided him the three aerospace fighters to be able to reduce that three skull down to a two and a half skull mission. He was able to quickly dispatch that unit. Blue Sector had the biggest opportunity for a player win. All four units moved south with Riggers Wreckers and Conrad's Commandos both taking a three skull mission against the six skulls in L4 hoping to capture the dropship. They were successful and then they were shortly reinforced by T4 and CC from Orange Sector T4 took the, the captured ships that we had at the docks, and CC took the cargo planes that we had that were able to skid drop them into the area. They decided to do this and reinforce Blue Sector because with 15 skulls of enemy mobile units available, it would have been a nightmare for the Flaming Tigers, Riggers Wreckers, and Conrad's Commandos to be able to defend against that. They would have each had to take a five skull mission. Strangely enough, Orange Sector was the quietest this turn. The players elected just to shift their assets around to be able to receive the, the Liao attack. A few of them moved to the east to position themselves between the storage and the airport to be able to react to either the eastern or the northern force. The end of the turn in green sector saw the two six skull mobile units merge and move towards the communications array. In orange sector, the western and northern forces moved straight towards the docks. Well, in the east, the rest of the units formed up into a 20 skull unit and moved directly towards the airport. In blue sector, the 15 skulls of mobile units merged up and attacked the five units it could reach, each of them having to take a three skull defense mission. Each of the players was able to successfully defeat the enemy, basically eliminating any resistance in blue sector. And that was it for turn five. It was pretty simple. A little bit of fighting, a little bit of moving. And as always, please check the description down below for the links to any battles that were recorded. And until next time, we'll see you later.